hello guys you are welcome back to this today's tutorial in this uh, video i'm going to show you how you can do our search engine optimization we are going to do a high quality seo for our website so that our website will be able to appear on google or any search engine so that when they search any content or any post or articles on our website our site will be among those that will be listed in the first 10 search result so for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to be using expired domain we are going to set up um set configure the seo on an expired domain expired domain has some of the advantages like the age of the domain or uh, the backlinks and other things that we can need to consider so follow this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also click on bell notification icons so as to get updates anytime i release new video thank you as i've said at the beginning of this uh, tutorial that i'm going to be using domain that has been expired though the domain i'm going to use i will try to make sure that i didn't have enough backlink and uh, i didn't have any traffic from the web so what we want to focus now is how to do the search engine optimization of the domain so now as you can see i'm going to do as i've said i will do this from the scratch i will pick the domain from the expired domain then i will register the domain so that you to guide you through how you can register your own domain now i want you to pay attention before you choose a domain there are some domain that have been blacklisted so if you want to check that um i will just there are some things you all can put in mind for example now let me pick this uh this domain let me pick this domain for example now you can come to google.com so when you come to google.com search engine try to search this domain if domain is indexed this domain to call known this one that is showing is not the same with this this one is having hen so uh if you check down we haven't find something related to, to, to this so which means that this domain has not been indexed though it doesn't it doesn't mean that it has been blacklisted by seo but there are some it's so a sign that it may it may be blacklisted so i don't like choosing this type of domain so i would like domain that is already on uh, uh it has been indexed expired domain that has been indexed remember if you are buying a fresh domain your domain will not be indexed on google it will not it will not at all if it is a new domain don't then another thing is that this domain now um it may be expired for a long time but i can see if year from the date is just a 16 of this month that is two days ago so um it is not it has not been long if it because it's supposed to show now let me look for another domain here for example let's check this one this one which has been added since last month for example now this one is more it has expired before the one we check now let's try to check this one this free godo.com copy it i've copied it let me search this site on search engine search now um this domain is still indexed on the search engine so that means it is it is it has not been it has a guarantee it's not blacklisted now remember our target for this domain is to uh, try to register it create content for it and then apply for adsense so that adsense can monetize it now um i've passed the first stage which is to index the site and the site is under the index now what you have to do now because i don't want to wait for a month or two months before i apply for adsense so i have to look for a domain that already been on an uh, google index now so what we do now is um we will try to check if they have been they have used this uh, domain they have used it for artisans before <laughs> so what you will do is <laughs> you have to come here uh, where is the domain you have to come here we can check the uh archive this archive is a site <laughs> that we that normally back up old content of a website maybe for example now if a site 
it has been on it has been registered for a long time you normally screenshot them if the domain expired you can try you can track the past content of that website now this domain now it has it just appear on the web as the end of 2021 as you can see from this chart now throughout 2022 archive didn't get the shoots of this site but let me go to 2021 towards the ending you will see one you have a one snapshot of the site let me preview it so that we can easily track maybe it has been used for, to apply google adsense before <laughs> now it's trying to to give all the shoots of the site so from there we can able to check if there will be it has used the site for uh adsense before it's still loading um it's still loading but let's try to <laughs> let me reset my internet service here let me reload the page so uh, as we have been waiting so we can go here we can go to name chip to check maybe we can register the domain so let me open new tab uh -huh. now let me go to namechip.com so here on name chip let me try to put the domain and search yeah this domain is available to register so um it's around nine nine um nine dollar so but we can still get it around six dollar with this coupon so let me try to try to use this coupon now uh for me to let me continue checking if they have been using for adsense now this is the sh screenshot for the adsense in the past it's a they use the site for a shopping website they use it for a shopping website and hardly you will see a shopping website if the site is not a big site that's having a lot of traffic they use uh they use it for adsense now if you want to check here we cannot see it directly with it will not display but let us check uh the what do we call it let us check the source code if you want to check the source code for it um just press uh, where is it now let me try to show you what you have to press just press ctrl u c t r l plus plus u press ctrl u then it will show us the short code so this is the short code for the site when the site was live now if you want to check if it has been used for adsense just press ctrl f find now press press this thing p u b i think if you sh if it is a site that has been used for adsense in the past you are going to see something uh adsense code here for example now let me open a site that have adsense like this site now like this site I think this site have adsense here. Yeah. Can you see ads that's just display on the site? Now let me press Ctrl U. This is the Ctrl U. This is the source code for the site that have adsense on it. Ctrl F. Now press pre UB hyphen. Enter. Can you see it show us the publisher ID? And it is only adsense that is is be its publisher ID is being arranged like this. Definitely the site is having adsense. But pertaining to the site we want to purchase when i check the source code is not having is not having publisher id definitely we can try our luck on it let me close this one we have done with it now you have to come to our name chip to register it so normally we have to add to cart so let me quickly register this one so and now we continue with the tutorial now <laughs> after you register it uh let me if you cut i have to log into my name chip account um I'm not logging confirm order 
I have to log in to my this thing. Um, this is my account. How many let me check accounts here? Yeah. I have to log into my account. <laughs> now yeah, I have to verify the code. So they have sent uh, they have sent a uh, verification code to my phone. So now I have to input it eight five nine. So after confirming the after confirming the uh the code now it has logged into my dashboard right now i think i copied one uh, uh what do we call it i copied one uh coupon codes these coupon codes i want to use it for let me let me go back to the home page so that i am i will able to apply the coupon code so that it will reduce it from nine dollar to it will reduce it to like uh, five or six US dollar. Now let me paste the coupon code here. So let me apply it. Now um, this coupon code has expired or has already been applied to your account. So I have to buy it around uh, nine dollar, right? Okay, no problem. <laughs> so let me proceed with the payment. And um, we come back to. Uh, our tutorial now as you can see from the dashboard that I've made the successful purchase of the domain so now um let me go to my name chip dashboard so that you can see the domain um few all domain I have many domains on my name chips right now this is the domain this is the domain i will just purchase now the next thing here is i have to connect the domain to my hosting so um let me quickly do that now here on name server i have to choose a uh, name chip web hosting because the web hosting is on my name chip uh, account now let me just copy this domain name right here so let me back to my dashboard so i can log into the uh my hosting my hosting dashboard now here's my hosting dashboard let me just go to um go to my control panel the hosting that i'm using on namecheap is stellar plus which means that i can add more than one domain to the to my hosting account i have more than 10 uh, domain names which are already connected to the hosting and uh, they are all performing fine i have network issue you have to disconnect and reconnect again now i have to log in back to it Login. The network is too little solo. Well, let's wait for a while. Is still connecting to the control panel, but let me re-click it here so that <coughs> the network is slow. Let me disconnect and reconnect again let 
let me pause it now that my control panel just show up now so uh, the next thing here we have to do is uh, we have to uh, come to the add-on domain so that I can add the domain to my to my hosting account remember here we have set our domain to use a uh, name cheap hosting now what I have to do here is just to add on the domain I uh, put our domain here right then um, um, okay yeah click on add on domain these are the domain I already had it Yeah, now it has been successfully added to the our uh, hosting. So next thing is, let me check the site and see the status of the site. Maybe it has successfully connected to the hosting. It must show us uh, index side of it. But I believe it's still synchronizing now now that we have already had the domain the next thing here is that uh let's try to install wordpress on the site but before i install wordpress i want to quickly go and enable the uh, ssl certificate so that it will not be showing the site is not secure now but the ssl site i open it on the new tab so that it will be loading before i finish you just come to WordPress manager so that's where we are going to install our WordPress now um, this is the SSS certificate let's look for the one we just had now so um, let me check the one we already installed now this one is in progress presently so it's going to install this SSL certificate for us, but before that we can still proceed by installing it on our on our uh, by installing web WordPress on it. Now here is uh, the domain I have to choose the site. So if I choose the site here, it says trusted SSL certificate was not found. Truly, it has not finished installing here, but we can still proceed now. Um, that's it. Our uh, site type two. I can just use the name of the domain. Now we have to. Um, we can just say uh, tech blog. So after doing this, uh, the next thing here is that you already add me. I can say you should use add me, and the password I can just say you should use this one. I have to copy it. So here now, uh, there is a lot of teams here that they are free, but I will not use this one. I will later install the teams manually inside the my dashboard. Now our WordPress is being installed presently. Is because we have a slow network that's why it's taking some time like this
so remember our SSL certificate is being installed right here now why waiting for our WordPress will finish installing now the WordPress has been finished installing now the next thing you have to come you come to the WordPress dashboard the network now that uh, we are in our WordPress dashboard here now um, this is the plugin one thing I normally do is that I normally install some important plugin one of them is uh, what do we call this plugin um, jetpack so jetpack sometimes oh, sorry you come to add plugin so because we want to add a new plugin so this is jetpack right you have to install this jetpack sometimes i normally use it to measure my uh traffic uh those who visit my website and from where are they visiting the website you just activate it so uh, another important plugin is um do i'm going to install few now because of the uh, our our target so as to as to for seo there's what there's this plugin used though no, this use is a, is a premium plugin <coughs> this use is a pr uh, premium plugin sorry so um just have to install it do i have one that i have one that is a uh, premium so i'll just go and upload it right away but if you don't have you can install this one this one too can perform better so now or oh, let me just install this one for the sake of this tutorial now um let me let me uh, there's another one let me install it together before I activate it uh, in, in line in line uh, in line related post so I normally install this one too because so as to to build what we call internal backlink inbound backlink internal backlink so that there will be a post that will link from one post to another so this instead of doing it manually sometimes i use this inline related post so for example now let me let me check a site that have that this is one of my sites uh so you see these uh now now that uh, we have just come and set this one you have to do some settings before you go continue using free fashion even the free fashion can perform better so now you have to mark this to be active then uh, read you can use read also about it will just tell you about the post for example now let me i mark on this one <laughs> now this is exactly what i'm talking about read also about how to get it will just pick a post automatically read see this one too that's the function of this uh what would you call it of this uh, plugin so then you can just leave this one like this you can mark display border shadow then also how many box per single post just put three it's okay then you save <laughs> So when you save now, um, let me quickly go and set up this uh, used that we just installed. But I've not activated it on our plugin used used. Activate the used. <laughs> now. the use has been successfully activated now what you have to do you have to do quickly do some configurations so um it's known as a first time configuration so this use is a search engine optimization plugin that assists you to write better the article that's going to 
show or rank on Google. So here now, um, you have to click search SEO data optimization, then you just continue. <laughs> Now, what is type of your site is an organization, then the name of the organization for go though this anything you want to put here, just make sure that anything that if they search it on Google, are you getting it? It's not a post, but it's a site. When they search your site, if they search for Godo, at least it will show up. If you leave it, you can put the picture here too. Just save and continue. Um okay i think these uh these uh, this place they just make it compulsory but it's not necessary now if you have any social media uh, page that is attached to your to your um website just put it here but if you didn't have anything just click save and continue um also this one yes you just see yes you can track my site data now or uh, it's just a privacy if you like you can see uh, you don't need to track your site data but sometimes i mark it so you just save and continue if you put your email then um you have done with the configuration so um though you have to you have to uh, okay if you want the premium then you register but now is everything is done perfectly now so remember this is this is a free fashion there are some configuration like crawler settings it will not be available on uh, free fashion now that we have done with this now there are some important uh, page that you need to put before you set up your adsense account what are the pages we have to write page on about us you have to write page on uh, contact us contact us you have to write page on um, cookies policies policy and then you have to write um, on privacy policy so these are the pages you have to create together on your blog before you apply for the answers now if you want to do that just come it's different from post post is your article and page is different thing just click add new when you click on add new when you click on add new you just click on contact us for example contact contact us here you can put something like uh, um if you have anything just contact us you put your email here so but uh to make our uh tutorial faster i will not save this one i have a post because here you have to write at least 30 posts before you can apply but i will just import some of my posts that i already have so that it will just speed up our work now here you have to come to tools i want to import my post i have a post that I already exported from uh, one of my whole website now you have to install the wordpress importer so it's not take time and then after it has done then you run the importer so then you choose the file you want to upload that the xml files on my download so that's all my one of my old website do deliver so now you have to upload this so i have to choose because all these posts if you want to assign it with one of uh, 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 users so i think you should use the admin then i say submit Let's wait for some time. Should we upload what we expect?
no problem is still loading but let me check the home page here no not this one yeah let me reload this home page and see if it has been yeah some of them has been reflected so this, these are some of the posts so almost several pages but it's still loading here but let, it's not a problem let's just wait for some time let's wait for some time so these are some of the posts well it didn't look attractive now until i work on the teams until i work on the teams now um i think it has successfully imports now let's come to and check our post here and see now at least we have uh, 126 posts on this site we have 126 posts now um though what we need for is to be monetized around uh, 60 uh, 50 now as you can see now but let me just go and install teams let me go and install teams let me look for available teams that do i normally have teams that i normally use in some cases I have some <laughs> my network is slow but no problem now we have some teams here but let's just go scroll and see let me install this one and see how it works let me install this one and activate it oh this one is okay this chrome news this chrome news is also good Now let me refresh this home page. It will give us some nice look. Now, because I just changed the themes. The network is slow but if you observe you see all those pages i told you about i have export i have import them so i don't have to create them again you will see some of them here presently if you observe here yeah, the network is still slow now you see the page has just opened if you observe all this about us contact us um privacy policy i told you about is already come up with it because i, I export i import it together sorry now the reason why this is loose is that i am i'm trying to make this video a live video so now as you can see all these pages now is already here under the pages here you can see them they are already here so but if you it's because i import it but you have to create it yourself what are the things that they are likely being on these pages for example now check this about us are you getting it the site is an online article hub since this and the, this that eh? technology and profile platform trend on latest technology you see then this are uh, you write about the site you write about um uh, contact us if you think any of this data is strong or you have any business or you can contact us at here yeah. now also there are uh, what we also call a cookie policy can you see this cookie policy here 
so it's also an important part you can copy if you want to create you can copy and edit it with your own domain so the same thing as privacy policy even there are some plugins that can generate this one for you automatically so just put all these pages together and then you are good to go let's come up with the post you see these are some of the posts so this post now I'm trying to edit so let's assume that I want to rank with how to create a strong screen log now the things you have to know is that uh, on my used you have, we have what we call a focus key phrase these are the key phrase you want to rank with so you have to copy it if you want to call this word you want to rank then put it here on your host as I've told you earlier that use is one of uh, uh is one of uh, seo tools that allow you to rank then you have to put this one here there's what we call a meta description so this meta description is what when they search for this this is what it will show on google then when they click it it now come to the site so if it's yellow like this so it's not well it's not well it's not well arranged so what we do i have to remove some because it's have a numbers of uh, what that's supposed to be there uh, instead of let me show you to reduce it let me just say check i will use the word check so now if it's green it's now green because it has a number a recommended car, uh, numbers of what that have to be on that meta description now if you see this uh, progressive bytes it remains some little word i can add so that it will make sense now it's almost uh, now this how when they search it this is how it will look like can you see this is how it will look like so this space that is here is for the image because there are sometimes we want to do the better seo after you're done with this one they are add related key phrase is for uh used premium now you have to put the picture if you want to put the picture for this for example i don't have the picture now but let me just see this is the picture i want to use let me just screen shoot of this place let's say this is the picture i want to use for example and then to make it look like to the people that it's a video uh, explanation you just have to copy this one so when i copy this uh, let me quickly edit it here so i put this one here crop now if you want to save the picture you want to use you want to save it you must save it with the uh, your title is very important that you are doing image SEO so that if they search something related to this and they want image so your site will also come up your site will also come up now so I will save this one with the title I'm going to save this one with the title so when I save this one with the title now it has gone then I will come to the featured image here where is the featured image I have to put the featured image so most of the posts i upload they don't have feature what we call a feature the image i have to do that um, manually one after the other it's still loading i think it's supposed to shift here yeah. yeah, this is how yesterday let me let me think let me let me let me save us okay it's safe on desktop it's take it's safe on desktop I thought it's on image here. Yeah. What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? I think I, yeah, this is it now. So um, let's wait for it to upload. So after that, and uh, I think your post is good to go. Uh, is the network sorry it's fail it's fail uploading but let me let me just uh, update it let me update it so you have to upload the picture because my network is not that strong now so when you upload the picture when they search you see how it shows here yeah? <laughs> this is how it will show on google are you getting it this is how it's go it will show on google there's also important things that uh, you we need to do sometimes on your wordpress i always there's what we call uh permalinks i normally set my permalinks to use i don't like it to use a date as 
to generate my link what i'm saying here is that for example now where is the where is the uh, for example if we check this uh, post now let me try to re-update it it's taking time if you check this okay it's done let me copy the link if you check this link look at this spammer link now it will be it's because you you, you see this thing it's at 2020 plus 01 it will because the post has been re, is written around 2020 it will put the date but me i don't like this type if you want to if you if you want to solve if you want to rec uh, resolve this type of thing that's when you come to this parma link so on this parma link you what we said is to use the and name so now you have to put to use post name only post name only and then you save so when you save it instead of use dates and uh, uh where is it where is the link instead of using this type so let, let me refresh so it will just it will not use this one again let me check if it has been saved successfully let me reload it so it will remove that uh, uh, it's because let me let me close it let me close this and come back to the post here let me try to update or even reload this page so it will remove that date it will now become plus the post name so these are the basic thing you have to do when you are trying to set up your wordpress website for seo so the next one is that for example now let's assume that uh, okay let's assume that where are my posts where are my posts let's assume what what we need to work on is the backlink but i'm going to cover this one on another video because uh, any uh, one any any of your any of your example now any of your any of your posts you have to get external backlink for them so that it will help your site on s to rank faster to rank faster now this is the you can you see the link now it has removed that uh, 2020 something let me post it can you see it's now straight now if we check this link on google presently it will not in it will not index it will not index this this link sorry for my poor network now if i search this link no and normally if i search this one when i search this one this keyword if somebody search this keyword our target is that to to make sure that our site is among those one that it will show now this is the google now i search this link even this link normally it's supposed to be this word i'm trying to search but now it will not show it will not show because it's a new site and the search engine has not even crawled the link to collect of the keyword now i even search the link the link is not on search engine now because search engine has not indexed the link if the search engine indexed the link that's why this keyword we started to rank <laughs> no but first thing you have to do you have to make sure that the search engine index the link so what you want to index your site you have to follow the second video i will drop so when i drop the second video then we will move to another method if you want to rank uh, to index your link faster on google so please follow my next videos and also don't forget to click on subscribe button also the bell notification icons so as to get updated anytime i release new video thank you